All right, what up, everyone? We're here at the World Series of Bowling Day 1 practice, and I got some information for you, but it's not coming from me. It's coming from Mr. Simo. These are the patterns we are bowling on. Explain to the vlog what we got. All right, so three patterns. We're bowling on four patterns this week. These practice sessions are only going to be three, but if you look, we've got Cheetah, uh, but we're using a Flex Machine Ice Oil, uh, which is a Kegel Lane machine. Then we're using Scorpion. 42 feet is absolute control with Brunswick Max. So we're using a Brunswick oil machine, which is this little graph down here. And then five and six uh, will be Shark, 48 feet fire with the Flex Walker. Which one thing that I find cool, just because I like working on machines and just learning about it, is yes, we're going on three different patterns, but we're literally using three machines. The Flex, the Flex Walker are the same machines, except he's got to actually push this one lane to lane. This one, he's able to just hit a button and sit back, have his coffee, and just watch it run the whole house. So that's kind of neat. Um, the fun stuff is all of this. Um, if you know what this means, please, please let me know. <laughs> I haven't figured it out. This, I can understand this. this Brunswick is, ones are tough. This is my shite. <laughs> it's going to be fun. 34 mils, 35 feet. Um, this place hooks a lot. So. Hooks a lot. And this is the first time they've used three different machines, right? Yes. So I feel like normally they they run on one pattern or no, one machine, maybe switch up the oils, uh, stuff like that. But literally a couple different machines. Uh, we're going to have some different lane services. Uh, this surface in the bowling center is like 20 years old, roughly, maybe a little younger. The service in the arena bay is like two years old. Uh, so whenever people are able to make cuts, get into there uh, for the show, it's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be a fun week battling on uh, whatever the hell we got here. <laughs> yeah. And we can kind of see if there's a difference in how they play between the Brunswick and the Kegel. So it'll be a fun week. So you're supposed to keep your heels on the ground when you're doing this, but we just can't do it. Seriously? Come on. Keep them things down. I ain't got that dentist flexibility, dog. Put your hands behind you. Try this. I got to press. What am I doing? Try and touch your knees to the ground. There you go. Now get your heels down. What? What the frick is happening? I know. <laughs> what is this? We just get roasted by seven year olds all, all day. Right. What the freak is happening?
So to update you, the Iowa game is tied. Um, we have $190 on the game, so we're in there. But, oh yeah, we're bowling. So we're back to scene. Um, we have cheetah, scorpion, shark, claw out here. My strategy on cheetah, I'm trying to get good with this red ball, and it looks okay, like if I play out, maybe use that for a game. I like IQ Tour, I like Attention Star and the other patterns, but when I approach this practice session, since we won Cheetah first, where we get to practice on all three patterns, I like to get an idea what Scorpion and Shark are doing, just to try to create a feel. But then I like to spend most of my time on the pattern we're gonna on first. We don't see that, that pattern for another three days. And a lot can change, you know. We're gonna blow on Cheetah for an entire two days, which is gonna change the memory a little bit. But uh, anyway, IQ Tour, maybe the red ball. Base two looks okay, idle looks okay. IQ Tour, I can bend them a little bit more. It's a little quicker responsive. The idle, I can kind of play on top of it. So those are the two ideas I have for tomorrow where hopefully they work, but I'm about done practicing, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go grab my spare ball, go about 10, 12 spare shots. Make sure that ball's going in the right direction because I've been needing that ball a lot lately. And uh, we're gonna wrap up. But I feel pretty good so far. Equipment. different than the pair I bowled on. That's probably why they let you practice across the whole house. But this ball was pinging off the drive. And I don't know what happened on that pair, but it was not. I had to move like five right. So just what you want to see at the end of your practice session. gonna drill a ball. Then the urge is, is like, well, what if? So we drilled a Vibo. Drilled a Vibo. We're gonna try to use the Vibo tomorrow if they get really tight down lane and like an IQ tour and idle, like it's too slow down lane, which was, I could see happening. So it just needed another option. And that's like one of the only balls I don't have that's on the truck that I wanted. So we got that. Um, feeling decent well for Cheetah, you know, just kind of not taking too much of what the lanes are playing right now because they're always way different. Just want to go in and throw it well. But, uh, World Series Bowl. We're here. Thank you guys for following along. Thank you to the people that have took advantage of our 375 deal that we're kind of closing out the PBA tour with in our membership. So we're gonna run that to the end of the PBA tour and then take that away for a little bit. Um, but letting people get in for, you know, 375 instead of the full price and it's been good. So thank you to everyone that's been joining. We've had a lot of people join up. We're excited to build that. And uh, my focus for the next six days is gonna be bowling as well as I can and managing pain. That's the goal, and we're just gonna get through it. Gotta be mentally tough this week. Probably more than I've ever had to be. I can get through it. I can get through it for sure. But I also wanna bowl well. It's hard to do both of those, but we're gonna do it this <laughs> week, so. Thank you guys, we'll see you tomorrow.